Hello, have you heard of the plum pudding atomic model? Scientist J.J. Thompson realized that the accepted model of an atom did not account for negatively or positively charged particles. Therefore, he proposed a model of the atom which he likened to a plum pudding. Let's take a look at this video. Our objective is to describe Thompson's model of the atom and its shortcomings. For centuries, scientists and philosophers were trying to understand and probe the basic building blocks of matter. These were later to be known as atoms. Around 1909, J.J. Thompson proposed the first atomic model popularly called the plum pudding model because it resembled a Christmas pudding. He even proposed that an atom is a sphere of uniformly distributed positively charged matter with electrons embedded in it. This atomic model was popular until 1911. Two physicists, Geiger and Marsden, associates of great physicist Ernest Rutherford, studied the alpha particle scattering from an extremely thin cold foil to understand the structure of an atom. It was expected that the alpha particles would experience the electrostatic force of repulsion from the positive charges and attraction from the negative charges in the foil. In the Thomson's model, the positive charges and extremely light electrons are uniformly distributed over the atom. So, it was expected that the alpha particles would hardly experience a significant net force from these charges and they would pass straight through the foil almost unaffected. But, to the surprise of the scientists, they observed that even though most of the alpha particles passed straight through the foil, a few of these underwent a large angle scattering. Occasionally, a few particles were even scattered in the backward direction. The graph represents the number of alpha particles scattered at different angles. Scientists questioned as to how this large angle scattering could occur. The alpha particles must have encountered a heavy mass, almost the mass of an atom, in their path to scatter at large angles. As thousands of alpha particles pass through the thin foil undeviated, this heavy mass must be located in a small volume and the rest of the space in the atom must be empty. This suggested that the actual distribution of positive charge is not uniform over the spherical atom but is in fact concentrated in a small region at the center of the atom. The overall charge at the center produces a strong repulsive force on alpha particles approaching it. As a result, a large angle scattering of alpha particles can take place. It was from these and many other observations of Geiger and Marsden experiments, Rutherford was able to deduce that Thomson plum pudding model of the atom was certainly incorrect. Rutherford went on to propose his own model of the atom and also derived nuclear dimensions which we will study later on. To summarize, around 1909, Thomson proposed that an atom is a sphere of uniformly distributed positively charged matter with electrons embedded in it and called it the plum pudding model. However, during an experiment of alpha particle scattering, scientists observed that even though most of the alpha particles passed straight through a very thin metal foil, a few of the alpha particles suffered a large angle scattering while a very few scattered back in the incident direction. You now know that Thomson's atomic model failed. 
then it was the turn of scientist Rutherford who proposed an atomic model which was different to the plum pudding model. Let us learn in our upcoming videos about how Rutherford overcame the drawbacks of the plum pudding model. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.